Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, I'm gonna do something a little different. Normally I show you guys hauls and you know what's so videos, but today I'm actually gonna take you inside with me so you guys can see how hectic it is in there. Um, and hopefully I find some good stuff. And actually I think they're about to open right now. I see the doors getting ready to open. So I'm gonna take you guys in there and let's see what we find. So the first find of the day was this Georgia Bulldogs Columbia shirt. Um, they had a great season this year, so I figured that this shirt has some decent value to it. But however, the find of the day, without a doubt, is this Louis Vuitton shawl right here slash scarf. Um, after I did some research on it, it does seem to be authentic, and those things sell for between two and three hundred. Ridiculous find, man! I was excited, man. That is why I love going there when the door is open. You just like there's not as many people, and they just you know you just never know. Now, with that being said, as you can see right here. I am, I am definitely not finding much because it's fun, you know, finding Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Versace, you know, uh, North Face, all these big time brands. Of course, it's fun. You know, you get like a big kick out of it. But that's about 10% of the stuff you're going to find, you know, if that, you know, because I'm being generous by saying that. Because more often than not, what you're going to find is stuff like this. Honestly, I thought this was cashmere when I first saw it, but then when I looked at the tag, it was polyester. But anyways, as you see right here. You are going to have to dig through a whole bunch of clothes to find stuff like that. But more often than not, you're not going to find stuff like that. You're, I mean, you'll be lucky to find a couple things here and there. But um, I don't want anyone to ever think that I'm trying to say, yeah, if you go to the bins, you are guaranteed to find those big time brands. It's just not always going to happen. I almost did pick up that Nike dry fit. I have had good luck in the past with it. But I think it had a whole bunch of patches from like a company logos and whatnot. So I just left it behind. But anyways, like I was saying. Stuff like this is what you're more likely to find. You know, when they bring out new bins, it happens to me all the time and everybody else for that matter. Um, also on a side note right here, active wear, man, is in crazy demand right now. So whenever I find some decent pair of leggings or sports bras or whatever, trust me, they flip fairly quickly and for decent money. Um, also, I believe this is Juicy Couture here. Anyways, like I was saying, I, um, it's nice finding those those crazy d designer brands, speaking of which right here, North Face. This thing needs a lint roller for sure, so I'm going to when I get that back, I'm going to lint roll the hell out of that thing. But anyways, like I was saying, and this is not easy to do with one hand, because I am recording with my phone in one hand, so it's definitely a lot harder to go through all this with one hand. But the point I'm trying to make, though, is um, as fun as it is finding those crazy brands, more often than not, you're going to find junk, you know, you know, uh, low-tier brands that nobody wants, which is fine, but patience is the key. I feel like if you go to the bins and you're only in there for like 15, 20 minutes and you don't find nothing and you get discouraged and say, I, I, you know, this is not worth it, you know, you're not really doing it proper, if, if that makes sense. Because, you know, you really got to put time and effort in, even though right here I'm not doing my, um, my, because my usual method is I'll go one by one. Right here I'm kind of just like speed, uh, speed rolling through. And this was a quick night. I, I really thought this was vintage at first, but turns out it wasn't. And when I found these shorts right here, I thought they were like regular gym shorts. I saw the tag was missing. I was curious to find the brand, and bam, Lululemon, man. I was like, thank goodness. Um, and like I said, you saw all that stuff I was digging through. You didn't find that in the first place. Same thing with this foot joy. Um, this, I feel, is going to become more in demand as we get into warmer weather for golfing and whatnot. So definitely decided to pick this up. But um, anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to be it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little sneak peek inside. Let me know what you guys think. I'll see you guys next time.